Welcome back to Lens Studio. If you made it this far, you've successfully downloaded and installed Lens Studio. In this video, we're going to look at the basic of Lens Studio and take a look at some related templates for our project. When you open Lens Studio, you will see the home screen which includes your recent project if you have one, the updates panel which shows what's happening in the Lens Studio community as well as templates. Templates are here to make it easier for you to get started on your next big lens. Each of them cover a different feature that you can use or common lens type that you may want to build. Let's take a look at one template that uses 2D assets. Click on all template button and find the cutout template and click on it. When the project is open, you will see that the Lens Studio Editor is made out of the couple panels. The main big one is your scene panel, which shows how your objects are laid out in the lens. These objects correspond to the items in the objects panel. In the objects panel, you can see the list of all objects in the scene, as well as add new ones using the add new button. Let's add a sphere. To do that, click on add new and with the keyboard search for sphere and select it. This will add a sphere, which you can see in both scene panel as well as objects panel. In the very right side of the lens studio, you can see there is a preview panel, which shows you the final result of the lens in the simulated window. To make a customization to the sphere, you can select the sphere and do the changes in the inspector panel. Lastly, another important panel is a resources panel, which you can imagine as a bookshelf that has all the content you may want to use in your lens. All the content you imported to the project can be found here. Great tip here is to try to be organized as possible. So later on, when the lens gets more complex, you can easily find the asset that you need. Don't worry if you're still not sure about the lens studio panels. In the next videos, we're gonna do a deep dive on each feature so you can easily bring your 2D painting to life. See you guys in the next video.